good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Of course, Kevin Hart is involved in several controversies right now. One has something to do with the brother, Cat Williams, and he's been getting roasted and cooked up from that. But then there was something that occurred before this situation, and that has to do with Kevin Hart, his ex-friend, and also his ex-assistant. Have you guys remembered that conversation? If you have not, I'd like to take my time to play it now, and then we're gonna come back. The machine you worked for yes. was the heart. Yes. Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. Aniko Hart. Aniko Hart. What made you reach out? It is a time for Hollywood to hear this story, especially because a lot of people are locked in non-disclosures and they're not able to talk and protect themselves. Mm -hmm. But you have to protect the person you're working for. Where's your protection? When did things start to turn up around there? The extortionist. I'm listening to Mario on the radio in the morning. I almost crashed my car because I heard him say that Kevin's best friend, JT Jackson, had set him up. In exchange for millions of dollars. All the charges were dropped against JT, but they weren't dropped against Kevin. They, they re-dug up, I guess, old LGBTQ jokes or something. Correct. That he was saying on Twitter, and they wanted him to apologize, and he said... Haley is his publicist, so she, so she called me. She was just like, hey, Maisha, have you spoke to Kevin? I was like, no. I was like, Dave Becky just called me, his manager. Um, why? And then... Um, she was like, the whole Oscar thing, Kevin needs to say an apology, he's about to lose Nike. The Not gonna first scandal anymore. was with the first thing. Correct. The one in Vegas. Yes. So these other scandals. It's another one in the office. She pregnant a king. Correct, with her second baby. And he's still leaving semen stains all over the couch at the yes. heartbeat studio. Correct. And showering and then going home like. I told Aniko, like Kevin is cheating on you with a girl named Mix Morgan. She's his flight attendant, she's on his planes. Does Kevin have a gambling problem or something? His game is poker. Sorry. He gambled y'all money away and, and had to pay y'all half checks? Yes. I, well, <laughs> exactly. I, it was Leland. Leland was messing with our money. But I said, I was, here she is. Oh! Ooh! Look, look. Ooh! She got it. She on vacation every day. <laughs> when you see a she on, all she do is post vacation pictures with no n beside her, the n taking the picture. This ain't not, baby. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I would take the pictures for you as many angles as you want, but I can't it, to ensure he don't go up in these mother photos. Right. Nico, I love you. I'm not going to speak bad on her. Aniko's <laughs> pretty. Aniko's my girl. I'm going to let the winos judge. I'm going to put up a side-by-side -side wife Aniko. versus alleged side. I love Aniko. She so that is what happened, all right? And then after... This situation happened. Kevin Hart filed a lawsuit on all of the parties involved, including Tasha K. Now, let's look at this particular situation that happened to Tasha K just a few months ago. This was posted on Twitter on October the 8th, 2023 by Megan Cuniff. A few people <clears throat> asked me about the bankruptcy judge ruling on the $4 million judgment against YouTuber Tasha K for defaming rapper Cardi B. Here it is, there it is right there. It confirms Tasha can't discharge her debt to Cardi in bankruptcy. She's on the hook for it and will stay on the hook for it. What does that mean? It means that what Tasha K was trying to do was say, listen, I don't have the money or I don't want to give you the money. Either or is somebody trying to evade the fact that they owe this goddamn money. She doesn't want to give it to her. No problem, right? You don't want to give her the money. No issues. But here's Tasha K begging for bankruptcy attorneys in California. Listen to this. I need a lawyer in California that can enter in on my behalf a suggestion of bankruptcy. It's a very a quick stop the show. See, you're so dumb, you can't even spell. But you're over here talking about people's lives and getting sued. An easy process. DM me for the gig. I'm in Africa. It's 10 a.m. here. You need a California bar license, and I don't give a damn if you're a social media lawyer. Hit me for the job. So basically, you don't even really want to pay nobody because you're broke. Short lawyers should apply to serious inquiries only. Easy clout for anyone starting out. Now, this is very interesting because Tasha K is always talking about how much money she got. Do y'all want to hear her talk about how much money she got? Let's listen to when she was roasting a lead attorney. I want you to hear about how much money she says she got. Play the clip. 
database you need to go into to pull your receipts so that you can get on YouTube for five motherfucking hours talking about a that makes more money than you in the back of you in two days. Now this is interesting, Tasha, because you say how much you have, but now you're out here looking for a struggle attorney, weaving, sandaling, and struggling up. Now, let's look at this whole suit and what she is accused of. Basically, she had this interview, the clip of what you saw, and basically Kevin Hart uh, alleges that Tasha K said, listen, I'm gonna put this interview out. If you pay me $250,000, I won't run the interview with your former personal assistant, Misha or Maisha Shakes, okay? According to the complaint, she made Shakes, the assistant, made some false statements during the conversation that included Hart facing criminal charges over recording a sexual encounter. Now, let me kind of get to this, and I want so many people to understand the power of the black internet and what we're dealing with right now. Shout out to Brother Shannon Sharp and Brother Cat Williams um, and all of those brothers on Club Shay Shay. You guys know I have I've been a big critic of Shannon Sharp for some of that selling out he's been doing over the years. But what, I, what it has shown me is that black social media is is, is 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 very lucrative it is very lucrative people are making a lot of money just talking about black issues these guys got 30 million views on that particular interview and 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 just responding to it has made many content creators rich or richer at least for this month okay hopefully i'm one of them so what does that mean in the black sector if you're willing to put in the work willing to be consistent there's money to be made in the black sector. Oops, but one thing, Tasha K, you can't be out here lying on people. See, that's the difference. See, if you would just sit your ass down and leave people alone, you wouldn't have these issues. And I see this from so many people in the game. And again, it goes back to leadership. I want to know, as many as some of you brothers wanna know, where's her husband at? And why do you believe that you need to be an asshole to everybody because of your life and how dusty it is. Why does that make any, why does that make sense? I'm gonna tell you what it because it doesn't. You have a platform in which you're able to make hundreds of thousands of dollars. Let me give you an example, Kendra G. Kendra G, in my honest opinion, runs a very dusty platform, right? It's online streaming, it's a lot of weave. She don't put no money into this shit at all. Complete dusty. One thing I love about her though, here's what I love about her. She don't never get into no drama. She don't never get into no problems. She come on there, get her coins and she's out. She don't deal with no foolishness. <clears throat> she ain't putting no hatred on nobody, you know? And although her people that be on her program is, is dusty as hell, she doesn't deal, she doesn't uh, uh, remain in the dust like others. And that's the problem when it comes to certain blacks and social media, you see? Now, only thing we're doing is dealing in the dust. And when you got all kind of money, I mean, it's people who make millions of dollars doing this. All you gotta do is not mess it up. Can they do that? No, they can't do that, not at all. You have to go out there and literally destroy everything cause you're dusty. You have to destroy everything because you're crusty. Now you're over here running, trying to find another lawyer because you can't get yourself together. Now, this is more expense for your husband. This is more expense for their family. Why do you always gotta have a problem? That's what I wanna know. So guys, what do you think it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell, we're out.